Is there any better time to be awake just before everybody else? Oh, sunrise. Officially springtime. We've waited for you for so long. What a stunning morning. Oh. I'm going to stand here and listen. Peckers, birds, tweeting, and actually I can hear motorcyclists waking up. Look at this. Definitely a bike is up already. Probably still got the sleep in my eyes. Put fresh air in my lungs. Alright, let's go and get some coffee. Bad news for you. They are knocking down the departure lounge. End of an era, man. They're knocking down the departure lounge, folks. But they are building a new one. It's going to be um, a subway. So this this original building is being knocked down, and I guess all the forecourt. No, probably not the fog court, probably just this building, leaving all that up. And they're building a uh, a subway there and the shop's going to be in there. I didn't know what to think when I turned up. <laughs> Don't take my departure lounge. <laughs> Yeah, so this building's being knocked down. All right. And, uh, so and the subway's going there, and uh, the shop's going to be inside there. Oh, it's nice to be out. And a springtime morning.
the clocks go forward next week. Jesus, is that next week already? Yep. Officially springtime this last week. Clocks go forward next week. Saturday night. Well, Sunday. Shame there aren't so many roundabouts for the way. I oh, know. <laughs> well, you have to do. You have to scrub your right hand side in the UK and your left hand side in Spain. <laughs> Still zero degrees. <laughs> ah, we'll soon be warm. Have you swapped your heated grips yet? Yeah. Well, at least you've got them sorted. Yeah, they're on. <laughs> this is my first time properly out since Picos. Is it? Yeah. Jesus. She feels beautiful. Woo. I bet you've already shook off your pre-season nerves, haven't you? You've... I've not been off the bike, have I really? That first bit of uh, you feel a bit rough around the edges. Oh yeah, you? yeah, but, yeah. But to be honest, bike feels. But yeah, bikes are absolutely lovely. Yeah, I bet it does. With those new tyres, as it boot sale. <laughs> traffic build up. And this is the only time you'll ever find traffic on this road. The reason I call on this road all the time is because there's never any traffic. But when it's boot sale day. Last time we ever came to a car boot. No, couldn't think of anything worse. Looking around at other people's sh. It's to find the, uh, the diamond in the rough something, isn't it? Ah, uh, that doesn't exist. the gloves in my top box, why didn't you put them on? <laughs> yeah, it's a sprightly zero. <laughs> and you just don't freeze it. <laughs> I'm going through a bit of a eggs benedict phase at the moment, folks. And uh, can't get enough of them. And Frankie and Benny's do. Really nice eggs benedict. So I thought we'd come here for Bracky. Gaz has had his bike all titivated. What you had done, Gaz? Well, the forks have been nicely uh, repainted and protected, so they're lacquered with about five layers to stop them pitting again. Nice new, nice new road fives on. And your racks have been nicely retouched up and again lacquered to protect them because they were <coughs> battered all over a bit like what your Richards are. Yeah. Centre stand all freshly coated. So they're all rusty. Each shield sandblasted and redone. Uh, she's looking beauty at the moment, isn't she? Head bearing's been done. And then just a good overall service ready for this new season. 
she feels epic. <laughs> we'll go this way here. It is shameful on me, really, to say I haven't been on it since Picos. I actually can't believe you've not been on it since Picos. You must Octo be wrong. October, five months. No, mate, you must be wrong. You've got to have been on it since then. No, promise you, mate, not been on it since Picos. Except he's not, to the garage and back. He's not been on his bike since Picos. What a turd. This is where you bring up the Game of Thrones. Shame, shame. Whoosh. <laughs> is that strange? Oh, you're not even a Game of Thrones fan. What are you wrong with I've you? not even seen one episode. Not Mate, one. You might have to beat this out, but even if you just watch it for t and f Yeah. <laughs> you might have to beep it out. <laughs> Well, I always remember my mate saying to me, you've got to watch that, it's full of and shit and it's amazing. Yeah, I said, yeah, but, yeah, I said, I said, yeah, but take that, I said, take that out of it, what's it about? And he went, I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm re, I'm re binge watching it all, ready for the new series. All right. So from start to finish, I'm re watching it. Love it. Great, great characters in it. And like anything, especially something as complex as that. Yeah. To re watch it, you see yeah. so much more and like early on and you like win. Okay, so there's, yeah. you can always see the they've, they've always had the bigger picture, like yeah. even stuff like five series away, you they're, they talk about it and stuff like that. Okay, so they've, they've obviously had this outline, and you'll see that road where you went to in Ireland, you yes. know, with the trees. Yeah, and you'll see all that, and um, there's like little bits of what I think you'll have called it even more places that you won't realise. Hmm. We should have gone up there. Yes, yeah, definitely up there. Spin it round in trout, or here. Spin it round here. That's a nice little boozer. Tickle yeah. trout, yeah. Nice view, isn't it? We're all for symmetry, folks. <laughs> That's perfectly, so have, you, have you noticed the buildings as well? It's perfectly symmetrical, that is. Bike's perfect centre to the gates. Building's perfectly symmetrical. That's a beautiful... That, that, please, that image pleases me greatly. <laughs> <laughs> Does your OCD very good. <laughs> yeah. It makes me feel all warm. I don't know why I've never actually been in there. Me being a coffee fan and all, you have a, co been there. a coffee snob. No, I've not. I've not been in there since it's been a coffee shop. I used to go there for breakfast all the time. Okay. So when it when it turned into a coffee shop, I turned my nose up at it because I wanted a breakfast. And I was hungry and realised it was a coffee shop. So I've never been. I should do really. Oh, before I forget, folks, the uh, going to about the wild bad weekender. <coughs> we've just purchased. 20 tents so um, for those of you that inquired about a tent so we said we're going to be setting tents up for you you realize how much work we've got to do on the Thursday guys <laughs> yeah that's why <laughs> I took it off the, mar the marquee's going up on the Thursday the bars being fitted on the Thursday the toilets are being installed the showers being installed yeah we've, we've purchased 20 tents we're gonna get them all set up for you on the Thursday and I'm gonna scribble your name whoever buys them I'm gonna uh, scribble your name on it so it's already set up ready for you to get ready for you to just jump into well all of us are gonna set them all up um, yeah we bought 20 so at the moment, I think I had about 15 inquiries uh, about tents. So if you want to take advantage of that, folks, uh, they're going to be just 30 quid. And that's all setting them up for you. All you've got to do is uh, turn up and climb in it. And then when you leave, leave. Don't even, you don't need to set it down or anything. We're doing all that. So we're going to put it up. We're going to pull it down. Give them to a charity afterwards. Um, yeah, 30 quid folks, that's going to sort your tent out, all you need to do is bring your pillar and your sleeping bag. You can get that in your pack. If you can't put a pillar and a sleeping bag in your bike pack, then why are you even coming camping? <laughs>
But yeah, drop us a message, 30 quid each, and we'll we'll sort it all out for you. They're only two man tents, so and they you know they're not uh, you, you can't go camping at the side of a mountain with them or anything like that. They're basically festival tents. They, they, absolutely fine, perfectly perfectly adequate for what you need for a weekend. But yeah, you'll need your uh, sleeping bag and pillar. We've got just over 30 tickets remaining for the weekend, folks. So if you want to come, please do snap them up. Because I'd hate for you to want to come and then, and then you know, hang on and hang on and then go to buy it and realise there's none left. But uh, yeah, plans are still coming together. We've got uh, some great entertainment set up for you and daft games. And we're doing product giveaways. We're going to be doing competitions where you'll be able to win a set of Road 5s and... This will be the first time we've been here and not had any food. I'm all eggs benedicted out. The coffee. Maybe cake. Maybe. There we go, we've got a few wild badders here, look. Who's on Harley then? Oh, is that Mr. Lee Cooper? Oh, what's his name's here? A few, a few of the Picos teams here and all. That's Charles, I think, that Aprilia. Or is that yeah, Andy's? Yeah, I've seen him saying he were coming down this morning. Might be Andy's actually, I don't know. I'm sure Charles said he were coming this morning. But yeah, could, could be Andy. <laughs> we've got to do something to everyone's bike. <laughs> Mr. Rathbone's here. That's uh, Craig's. The Tiger. That's I think that's that Sean. Crossrunner. Who's his crossrunner? With a teapot one sticker on it. We're going to go and interfere with everybody's bike. Should we let the tyres down on every one of them? No, that's just ridiculous. So, Tell it, Randy. so people said, why have you stopped going down to um, Grindleford for your breakfast. Well, we started this shit. We, we started bringing everyone down here. And we'll tell you why we don't come anymore, because we can't even get our bikes where we want them. Look, look at the state. Can't even put our bikes in. It's a good job you came out, so I'm about to let all your tires down. <laughs> <laughs> you mean for your eggs, Benedict? Yes, sir, yes, I have. <laughs>